Let's talk about thread. Thread is the main thing you see when you look at your embroidery project. It's kind of like the paint and your fabric is the canvas. There's a lot of different types of thread out there, so it can be a little overwhelming when you're shopping, but we're going to break it down into a few important things to look for when you're choosing your thread. The first is the weight of the thread. The weight of a thread refers to the thickness of the thread itself. 40 weight is considered standard or medium, kind of middle of the road as far as weight goes. Most embroidery designs are designed to be stitched out using 40 weight thread. There are lighter and heavier weights than this. So a lighter weight thread you might use if you're embroidering something really intricate or tiny and it has a lot of details. A heavier weight thread you might use if you want your embroidery to be a little more contrasty or show up more against your background. Um, but for the most part, you can just get 40 weight thread, and that's going to be a great middle of the road starting point as far as thread weight goes. There are also different types of thread as far as content goes, so what the thread is actually made out of. So we're going to talk about some of the main content, fiber contents that threads come in. The first one is rayon. These are all examples of some rayon threads. So you'll notice that it is very shiny. So rayon thread is a plant-based fiber, and it's just as shiny and lustrous as silk, but it's stronger than silk and a little more cost-effective. It's great because it doesn't really fray or shrink or stretch in the ways that cotton or polyester will. But really the biggest thing is that it's just shiny and pretty. So if you want a really lustrous, beautiful, um, kind of a, a finished project that has a sheen to it, then you want to pick rayon. The next fiber content to talk about is cotton. Cotton is, of course, also a plant-derived fiber. You'll notice that it's a little more matte finished than the rayon thread. It's not nearly as shiny. So cotton is a good choice if you want your project to just be a little bit more matte, not as shiny. And this makes it kind of pop out more against the background, so a little more higher contrast. And it has a bit more texture to it, just because it's um, a little bit, you know, it's not as smooth and shiny as rayon. So cotton is great for more uh, a matte finish, essentially. We have some polyester thread right here. So polyester is a man-made fiber. This is a great choice for things that are going to be washed a lot, like kids' clothes or sports uniforms, towels, things like that, because it's much more color fast than cotton or rayon, and it's a little more durable. It also can be more cost effective, so if that's a concern too, then you can choose a polyester thread. This thread is a bobbin fill thread. So a lot of times, if you're not going to see the back of your finished embroidery, you can use a specific bobbin thread in your bobbin for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that it's usually a little more lightweight than the upper thread. This helps pull the upper threads to the back to make sure that the front of your project looks really great. It's also generally a polyester thread, so it's a little bit more cost effective than using up all of your pretty rayon colored thread on the back of your project if no one's ever going to see it. So that's kind of what you would use bobbin thread for. And it doesn't come necessarily in every single color in the rainbow, so you can just pick a color that blends with your fabric and your upper thread and go from there. The last thread to talk about is metallic thread. So it's nice and pretty and sparkly. Metallic thread is a fun way to add um, a little bit of extra sparkle to your embroidery projects. It is a mixture of natural fibers, man-made fibers, and metal fibers. So it is a little bit stiffer than regular thread. It's really important that you use one of your embroidery needles when you're using metallic thread because you don't want to shred the metallic fibers. And it's also helpful to use a thread net with metallic thread. Because of the metal fibers, it's a little stiffer than regular thread, so it unspools kind of fast. So the thread net helps keep everything nice and organized when you're embroidering. So what you would do is you would take the tail of the metallic thread and stick it through the thread net, and then just kind of stick the thread net down on top and grab the tail and pull it out. And that's going to keep your thread nice and organized as you're sewing. So those are the main categories of thread to know about. 
In the next video, we are going to talk about how to thread and wind a bobbin and get your machine all set up and ready to embroider.